Here now to weigh in Joe Borelli, New York City Council Minority Leader. Joe, before we get to this next level idiocy, I just want to scroll through the list of all the crimes that are up in New York City year to date real quick. Every category of crime is up except murder. Murder is essentially flat. It's just down 2%. Rape, robbery, robbery, felony assault, burglary, grand larceny, grand theft auto, transit, housing, petty larceny, misdemeanor assault, other sex crimes, shooting victims, shooting instances. They're all up double digits, 20% or more in most cases. What do you say to AOC? Well, I mean, first of all, her, her comment is Pulitzer-level stupidity uh, for someone who, who's got a career in making uh, awfully stupid things uh, said quite frequently. Um, look, you know, if she's looking for some little cause, it's not in any backwards tax policy. Uh, the reason is that progressives like her have actually controlled the narrative and controlled the policy level on criminal justice reform, uh, not just in this uh, city and state, but in many large city and states around the country. Uh, and so we see this rise in crime in New York. We also see the perception of more rise in crime in New York. People are feeling less safe. They're statistically more likely to get injured uh, and become the victim of crime. And it is all in part due to Democratic policies from Democratic lawmakers. They are talking the talk, and for two years they walk the walk with bail reform and defund the police and try to close Rikers Island and, and electing prosecutors who want to let people off scot-free, who commit in times of violent crimes. So all the, the, the chickens have come home to roost, and, and now we're seeing the results of, of, of two years of Democratic policy gone wild. Uh, the left wing likes to talk about the criminalization of poverty, which is what that she, she's getting at, that because the child tax credit was reduced, the extra child tax credit went away in December. Women are stealing baby formula. Well, there was a guy who was uh, tackled by a security guard outside of a Dwayne Reed today. The perp and the security guard got captured in a photo by the New York Post, and his bag, the perpetrator, was filled with hair shampoo and conditioner that would be resold. So even that, you know, even that argument falls apart. But Joe, listen to this. This is again, anytime there's a with the spike in crime that New York has experienced in part because of the bail reform from two years ago. This is what AOC, how she downplayed it last summer. Now, I want to say that any amount of harm is unacceptable and too much. But I also want to make sure that this hysteria, you know, that this doesn't drive a hysteria and that we look at these numbers in context so that we can make responsible decisions about what to allocate um, in that context. Her constituents and lower income New Yorkers can't get to work safely. Somebody yeah, I no, know they're... somebody I know saw some construction workers on the subway last night. One of them pulled out a very long knife and he said, if these mayor and these Congress people and the governor and all these liberals will not protect me, I will protect myself and my friends. And, and we're going to see more of these type of Bernie Getz type uh, reactive assaults in subway systems. That, that's almost guaranteed. But to AOC's point, I mean, this is not hysteria at all. Uh, 42 or 43 percent of people released on bail reform for violent crimes have been arrested within the past two years for committing another action. So this is not just some crazy Republican talking point. In fact, I, I actually share the same opinion as Mayor Eric Adams on this, where bail reform needs to be reform. Um, so he's up uh, in, in some ways against the same roadblock that so many rational politicians uh, across the aisle are facing in New York. We're just in the back seat when it comes to the Albany state legislature to these radical far left politicians who spend all their time worrying about the criminals themselves and their creature comforts in jail and the fact that they shouldn't even go to jail in the first place. And they spend no time worrying about the victims or the potential victims uh, and the downstream results of the policies they've enacted and want to continue to enact over the next couple of years. Instead of doing a self-serving Q&A with the New Yorker, maybe get on the phone and uh, make a condolence call to the family of that young woman who was murdered or any of the people who were robbed 
on a regular basis, particularly the independent small business owners who were already struggling. Say her name, AOC, Christina Yuna Lee, dead because of a criminal who should not have been on the street. Joe Borelli, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you again soon.